I think the opinion in the UK is changing towards Europe. Um, we are very worried about the possible collapse of the Eurozone. So on the one hand, we certainly encourage uh, European moves towards something which we might call a more federal Europe in, in shorthand. At the same time, we have strong political currents which say that is fine for the 17 members of the euro, but we don't want to be part of it. So uh, I think, unfortunately, the difficulties into which the euro project has, uh, has taken Europe um, really have encouraged and uh, emboldened euro skeptics within the UK. And uh, I think there is a danger, not too big a danger, but a danger that actually the UK may even eventually leave the EU. So the threat includes that the Eurozone might unravel or collapse. It includes that countries will indulge in at least creeping protectionism and that we get a return to self-defeating industrial policies. It's perfectly possible that we can avoid those outcomes, but I think to do so will revolve especially around strengthening the European Union. And that's not easy. So the last time Britain was in a pretty severe recession and trying to control government finances, supply-side reform helped us out of that recession. In that case, it was liberalising the financial sector, expanding credit. We can't do that again. But liberalising the housing market could possibly play a similar role. Do you think uh, the UK had a big advantage in this crisis, that they had their own currency? It has been something of an advantage, yes, in the sense that we are free to pursue our own monetary policy. We did see quite a big devaluation that has, to an extent, improved the competitiveness of British exports. Um, unfortunately, uh, a very large part of our markets is the Eurozone. <laughs> so although we've had the advantage of the devaluation, uh, our main markets have been growing slowly or in some cases not at all. So it's not turned out, I think, to be as big an advantage in practice as you might, ima might have imagined in theory that it would be. What do you think can restart UK's growth? I think we're in a difficult position to restart UK growth at the moment in so far as interest rates are now as low as they can be. We do have difficulties with public finances and it's not difficult to use fiscal uh, it's not easy to use fiscal stimulus therefore. So the traditional weapons of economic policy may not be impotent but they're certainly relatively quite weak compared with normal times. So I think we probably need to think of more unorthodox policies, at least to complement conventional fiscal and monetary policy moves. That, I think, does point towards supply-side reform as something which one would want to do and one would hope could play some part. Uh, the important sort of supply-side reforms would be to do things which encourage the private in sector to invest more reducing regulation in various ways. They might also involve changing the composition of government expenditure. We have a deficit in infrastructure. Uh, it would be better probably not to be cutting infrastructure spending but to be cutting some other sort of government spending. And uh, generally speaking, uh, we need to be alive to the issue of what we are doing affects the private sector's willingness to invest. We need to think about that more than we have been doing.